Good morning and welcome to another episode of PTVN. I'm Susanna King. And I'm Shola Dugbo. In today's show, we'll be following around Miss Hilbert's as well as trying the new truffle chips featured in the bookstore all right after this. <laughs> Welcome back. This Wednesday at 9 a.m., the lower school will be having an early childhood program in the auditorium, so make sure you are quiet if you have 8th hour free. There was also an admission visit day on Thursday, so please be mindful of guests in the hallways. Girls basketball has their first game of sectionals this Wednesday at 6 p.m. at Harrisonville against California High School. Make sure to go out and support our Lady Knights. Speaking of sports, Upper School Gym Night is this Friday, March 2nd at 5.30 in the Varsity Gym. And State Math Counts competition is Saturday, March 3rd at 9 a.m. in Columbia, Missouri. Good luck to all competitors. So, Susanna, do you ever wonder what teachers do in the morning before school starts? You know, I actually have. Well, lucky for you, Jill made a piece about what Miss Hilvitz does in the morning. So I got in early this morning because first of all I had to get gas and I wanted to make sure I had a full tank on a cold day so nothing freezes up in my car. That was done. And the first thing I did once I got into school was to start changing out my bulletin boards because my first semester students were so kind as to leave their finals with me so that I could have the boards decorated. But what I did this morning was put up new artwork for my seventh and eighth grade general art class where they were doing their cardboard sculptures and it could have been representational or it could have just been a design and we were working with the board to create a sculptural type bas relief painting and then they spray painted them outside. That was a chore because <laughs> First of all, it was too cold, too cold for them to get outside, and then of course spray paint isn't going to work under a certain temperature, but we finally got those done. The boards were gessoed and then they were painted. And then behind Kyle, you can see some more of the other work that the class did. And I'm going to be working on taking this work down because last semester's sixth graders were so generous as to leave me their projects of their iRobot, their pop, their Lichtenstein uh, portraits, and then their drawing final. And I'm going to be putting up this semester's sixth grade Weechel yarn paintings. These are going to be up for a little while because I don't have anything, any work right now to replace them. So those will be up just a little bit longer. Then as I go through my day, it's just grading and putting work up and then of course eating those delicious lunches and I can never lose weight here at this <laughs> school because <laughs> it's too good and even if you get little portions it's a lot of little portions of little things because everything's delicious I think last week I had two bowls of soup because I couldn't decide which one so I took one of each good stuff summer comes I'll lose my weight again hoping there's hoping what I'm going to be doing this morning is painting a bee on a t-shirt for Mr. Holmes for um, an auction video. So I'll get this drawn and painted on the t-shirt today and I need to get it done in the morning so that it'll be dry for him this afternoon. So here in the dark room, we have the dry side, which are the enlargers where the photographs get made. They put their photographs, open up the condenser head, and they put their negatives in the negative carrier. And then once that's all set up, they turn them on and they focus their negative in with the bellows and they get their picture lined up, their photograph lined up, so they can make their test print and then their print. But right now, we just developed our second roll of film and we'll be cleaning and cutting that tomorrow 
so that they can make their contact sheet and hopefully their first test print and print. And as I look through the film, we had one that didn't record anything. And as long as the students remember to shoot outside, light is the key to photography and having enough of it. They will be fine. If not, there's a few little techniques using filters and burning and dodging I can help them with, but sometimes I can't. Great piece, Jill. Before we go, let's check out the robotics team's new 2018 competition robot, Sir Bedivere. Today, Team 1939 has traveled to Lee Summit for our practice scrimmage. It's really the first time that most teams, as well as us, get to take their robots out and try on a full-on field, test out all the mechanisms, and see what we can do, see how we can improve, and it's a really good starting point at the end of our build season. Wow, that was super cool. I can't wait to see the robot in competition. I bet you guys had a lot of fun working on it. Yeah, it was super fun working on it during that six week period. Well, looks like that's all we have for you today. Wait, Shola. We forgot to try the truffle chips. Oh yeah. Oh, ah. <laughs> well, we have the truffle chips right here. We got the new black truffle chips and we're gonna be taste testing them. <laughs> you know, they're actually pretty good. Yeah, they are. Well. Let's, that ends us for today. I'm Shola Dugbo, and don't forget to van, vote Vans versus Converse on our Instagram poll, at Stowe TV. And I'm Susanna King. See you tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs>